Consider the following statements. 1. The smallest element in a max heap is always at a leaf node. 2. The second largest element in a max heap is always a child of the root node. 3. A max heap can be constructed from a binary search tree in theta n time. 4. A binary search tree can be constructed from a max heap in theta n time. Which of the above statements are true? So this is a question from data structures regarding max heaps. So we will go through each of these statements and see which of these are true. So statement 1 says the smallest element in a max heap is always at a leaf node. So imagine this statement is false. Let us say the smallest element we have in some internal node like this. In that case it will definitely have children because it is not a leaf node right. We will have some children and to satisfy the max heap property it should be that this node has to be greater than this node and this node in that case. This has to be greater than the, both its children since it is a max heap. But we know this is the, already the smallest element. So which means we can't find two elements greater than this. I mean two elements smaller than this in order to make its children. So this is never possible. The smallest element always has to be at a leaf node because if it's at an internal node, we can't find any further element smaller than that in order to make its children. So statement 1 is correct. Statement 2, the second largest element in a max heap is always a child of the root node. Let us say the largest element is 10 and we have some, so the second largest element is 9, imagine. And let us say 9 doesn't belong to any of these two. These two are the children of the root node. Let us say 10 is the largest element, 9 is the second largest element and 9 doesn't fall in the children of the root node 10. Now in that case here I need to put some value that is greater than 9 and also it should be less than 10 as well. But we know that 9 is the second largest element. There is only one element greater than 10, greater than 9 that is 10 only since 9 is the second largest element. So in such a case we can't find another element that is greater than 9 that is also less than 10 in order to be 9's parent and 10's child. Which means that such a case is also not possible. The second largest element always has to be a child of the root node. So statement 2 is correct. Now statement 3. A max heap can be constructed from a binary search tree in theta n time. Now this is correct. I will show you the algorithm to do that. Let us say we have a binary search tree like this. Now if I do the in order traversal of this binary search tree, what I will get is the element 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13. This is nothing but the sorted order of these numbers. Now in order traversal of a binary search tree can be done in theta n time. How we do is that using recursion we call in order traversal of left subtree, print the root node and in order traversal of right subtree. In that way if you see each node will be traversed exactly once that will take theta n time. So in order traversal of a binary search tree will take theta n time and in order traversal of a binary search tree will be giving all the elements in the sorted order. Now if I just write it in descending order, that will give me this 13, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 3, 2, 1. So from binary search tree, we reached here in theta n time. This also will be taking theta n time, so the total will be theta n time only. Now if you take a look here, if I put that in array form, this is nothing but a binary heap given like this. 13, 12 and 10 are children, 12 children is 8 and 6, 8 children is 2 and 1, 10 children is 4 and 3. So this is nothing but a binary heap. So efficiently what we have do effectively what we are what we have done here is that from a binary search tree in theta n time we have got a binary heap. You can verify that if I write all the elements in reverse sorted order it will give us a binary heap only. So I have given you the algorithm to convert a binary search tree to a max heap in theta n time. So statement 3 is also correct. Now statement 4, a binary search tree can be constructed from a max heap in theta n time. Now this statement is wrong. I will give you an intuition as to why this statement is wrong. So let us say this can be done. Let us say if we have a max heap, we can construct a binary search tree in theta n time. Imagine. So I have a max heap. In theta n time, I construct the, max, I construct the binary search tree. Okay. Now if I have a binary search tree in theta n time, I can do the in order traversal and print the elements in the sorted order. So that will also take further theta n time. So the total time will be theta n time in order to write all the elements in sorted order. Which is what I have done here is that from a max heap in theta n time I have written all the elements in sorted order. If I can do this that is construct the binary search tree from max heap in theta n time. Now 
what that means is if this can be done in theta n time i can sort all the elements in a binary heap in a max heap in theta n time right now if you know heap sort you will learn that first what we do is we construct the max heap that takes theta n time and after that we retrieve each elements one by one which takes theta log n time but which takes theta n log n time so sorting in total takes n log n time but if we can do this particular thing if we can construct a binary search tree in theta n time we can write the elements in sorted order also in theta n time so effectively we have got a new sorting algorithm that will sort all the elements in an array in theta n time which is more efficient than n log n now we know that is not possible if you can do that then you will get some awards or something so since we don't have an algorithm to sort an array in theta n time that is more efficient than theta n log n we can say that this statement is false because if we can do this then we have effectively got a new sorting algorithm now looking at the options you will see that options one two uh, statements one two and three are correct that is option a